I am up on top of this beautiful roof. Got a wonderful view. And I am sheathing the heck out of this thing. So far we've got one set of fascia on the back end of the house done. And the first row. That is the most important, hardest part of, of the entire thing. So we're just about finished up here. We almost been to the last piece of the first row. Got everything straight, everything's going well. And hoping to get at least this back end done today, maybe even some of the front. So let's take a look and see how we do. On this roof, we are using the half inch zip sheathing. It is a structural sheathing, so no H clips required between sheathing material. Uh, typically you would have an H clip in between each truss to help give each panel some structure to it. But because this half inch is able to span that distance, you don't have to use the H clip. It's much nicer. <laughs> Those H clips are pretty difficult sometimes. And I don't know that I'd like it when I go to put the tape on this sheathing. So half inch it is, no H clips. Lunchtime. What we have here is the next generation framer. Uh, maybe I could talk him into doing electrical work or something. No way. No? No construction? No. We'll see. We've got a little ways to go. In order to continue on with roof sheathing, uh, we are going forward with building our front entrance deck to the house. And we're just putting on some temporary legs just so that we can put a piece of plywood up there and stand on it so that we can get up to that area to finish our fascia boards and our soffit and continue on with our sheathing. So uh, that's our plan today is to build this deck and to get the front part of the roof all sheathed, sheathed, sheeted. I don't know, however you say that, one or the other. That one's running wild on purpose, so don't worry about that. Just get it where it's at. We have got to build our valley for this truss system. I didn't order a valley package. I figured we'll come off with a, a ridge beam moving into this roof line. And from there, we'll cut some jack rafters and tie into a valley board. So what we got going here is we pulled a string from the end of these uh, trusses on the peak all the way over here to this point. From that point, we took our chalk line and strung it down where the valley will end on each side. So it gives us an idea of where our valley board will be where our ridge beam should come in at. Uh, now our ridge beam is going to actually drop down just a little bit because it's a two by eight. So the corners of the top corners of the two by eight should line in with these trusses, not the peak. And it'll come in and it won't hit exactly at this point it'll come in and hit in here, wherever the two by uh, touches.
Now you may be asking yourself, Jed, how the heck do you find the angle that you need? I don't know, I just use other boards and scribe. So that was all a scribe, and I'll show you what I mean by scribe. So I take a board like this, wherever I want to find an angle somewhere, put it along there and run my pencil right along. Okay, so the jack rafters for the valley are done. Now, how do you find the angle for your jack rafter when it comes to the bottom part? So if you know that your angle up here is a 412 pitch, which in degrees would be 18.4 degrees, what you do know also is the material you're working with. So, if you're working with a two by four like we did, you take whatever this distance is. So for a two by four, you're talking three and a half inches. You divide that by your pitch. So divide that by four. It'll give you some random uh, decimal. And you multiply that by 12. And that'll give you the distance from your corner out here to make your seat cut so that it's flat against that. And then you would put your saw at an 18.4 degree bevel and go ahead and rip it. And that's what gives you that exact dimension and cut so that everything sits flat and even. Just to recap what we've done here for our valley trusses slash rafters, we've come in with a ridge beam planed in to our existing roof. We came off with some jack rafters sitting on top of a sleeper or a valley board. We also threw some jack studs under our jack rafters and cut a scuttle hole so that we have access to this portion of the roof or uh, attic space once everything is sheetrocked and the sheathing is on the roof. Uh, everybody needs to have access everywhere or the inspector gets mad. Uh, and how would you get insulation in there if you uh, don't have access? So that's all we've done. Um, it's time to start cutting the sheathing and putting it on.
teenagers take their Bibles to work. What do you take to work? My IRC. <laughs> <laughs> this thing basically lives in your truck. It does now. Right on top of your clipboard with all your fancy paperwork. Gotta keep track of stuff. big stretch you know this is the first time i've ever used this stuff where do you get all that sash co this is stuff i won at the field day with the perkins brothers sweet i'm actually really excited to use it it uh i think my problem is that i'm always too cheap <laughs> <laughs> but at least i think i'm honest. going to I'm, i think i'm going to change i'm going to go ahead and start using this stuff because it, it's probably a superior product. I mean, if other people like the Perkins are using it. Won't crack, it just stretches. This should be good. This is the zip uh, stretch tape. So it's like expandable, super sticky. But I like to use this on the bottom of the windowsill for flashing before you install the window. Uh, it just helps keep all the water off the, the sill. Seal, sill, is it sill? Sill. God, these words, <laughs> the words are hard for me. We're doing what? That we were, he told, Tracy told Deb that we blew all of the nails out of the remodel job that, all our extra nails out of the remodel job that we're doing into your driveway. Thank you. That's not really what we're doing. <laughs> Gross. I don't hammer? know. <laughs> Nathan stole it. My yellow hammer. Do you know where it is? Let's check the windows. I already did. Yeah. It was exactly where you had it the whole time. It was in the wrong drawer. The wrong drawer. Jeez. A thousand cards. A by a thousand cards. Liza. Just a little thing. Oh, look at this guy go. Actually, using the tool. You can't say using the tool on YouTube. Using the tool. You can't. <laughs> Abusing the tool. 
I'll be abusing the tool. For help. We'll handle it. that ice thing on the Winter Olympics. What's that thing called? Curling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. You can't be the cameraman and your helper. It's been a great time building with you. Please continue watching us. If you've enjoyed it, if you learned something, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel so you can continue the adventure with us. Thanks.